During an interview with CBS Morning, Giselle Bunchen, wife of New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady, announced that Tom Brady has suffered concussions over the years, and the most recent being 20, in 2016. Now, eyebrows were raised when she made this declaration because Tom Brady was never listed on any injury reports of having any kind of head trauma. So the NFL did confirm that he was not on the injury list for any, any head trauma and was planning to contact the Players Association to gather some more information. Mike, I ask you, do you think that the Patriots covered up injuries to their star quarterback and will we see any more cases like this? Only the Patriots know, I think, whether or not they actually covered up some injuries, and only Tom Brady knows. I think what Giselle Bunchton has done here is she's done a service to football fans and players in the NFL as well because she's got us talking about concussions, which has become somewhat taboo around the NFL. It's not something that they want to talk about. It's also made us realize, look, we need to improve what the whole situation is in the NFL with concussion pro protocol. As far as seeing more cases like this, I'll tell you what. I remember in Super Bowl 49 when Julian Edelman took a monster hit at the 10-minute mark when the Patriots wound up beating the Seattle Seahawks, and it was obvious that the guy had a concussion. But it wasn't on the Patriots who were hiding an injury. That was on the NFL where they failed to stop the game, take Edelman off the field, and give him his concussion test. After the football game, he was referring to the Seattle Seahawks as the St. Louis Rams. So I don't think this is so much a situation as the Patriots manipulating the NFL as it is the NFL sort of failing themselves, not doing proper concussion protocol for some of these situations, and it can definitely be improved. And the last thing I'll say is, hats off to Giselle Bunchton. I know a lot of people are being critical, especially Patriots fans, because this is the last thing that they want to hear, but the fact that people are talking talking about it from Drew Brees to Ben Roethlisberger and a lot of other players, it puts concussions in the spotlight, and I think the NFL needs that. Well, I, I think given the Patriots' history, um, their checkered history, so to speak, I think it's easy to think that the Patriots are involved in another cover-up, but I don't think so. I don't think that's the case because, you know, with concussions, it can happen very innocuously. A fall, just a bumped head. I've bumped my head a couple times over the course of my lifetime. No jokes, please. Um, and I've been able to just walk it off. I didn't feel like I needed to be in concussion protocol. So uh, this is probably what Tom Brady has experienced because anytime he gets bumped, you, get, you can rattle the head a little bit, he can fall, bump it on the turf, but still be fine. And But over the course of time, with his wife, who has intimate knowledge of him, she would know if something's just a little bit off. And in terms of um, whether we'll see more cases like this, um, I don't think so. Because one of the, I don't want to say flaws, but one of the difficulties in the with the NFL uh, fighting against concussions is the idea of self-reporting. You have to... The, the league is relying, in many cases, on players to say that the, I have a concussion. And if somebody's not doing that, then there's, there's that gap. And it's not the NFL's fault. It's not the team's fault. It's just in a sport where injuries can happen and not every player has the luxury of having their job waiting for them when they return for injury, they're going to choose self-preservation and their livelihood every time. So